welcome to the Astro Imaging Journey channel. Please enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. And like I said in the last part, I'm going to be swapping out the, uh, the sheet gem here for the CGXL. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but uh, yeah, we, we're a little beefier on that one. So we'll, uh, we'll get this swapped out. Uh, I did manage to, I had this out the other night hoping that the uh, clouds would break and they didn't. Um, so I just had it covered uh, knowing that the CGXL was, or excuse me, the CGX was going to be uh, coming. So I didn't uh, break it down because I wanted to, film swapping it out so looks a little disheveled um, you can see you know my wires aren't tied up very good right now and all that so but it's all good we'll we'll get it pulled off put uh, put the CGX in its place and get everything mounted back up and yeah so I'm gonna speed up the video while I do this if anything comes up, I'll uh, I'll let you know. Now, one thing I'm gonna be curious about, like I said, I'm gonna break in when I have a chance, is this power supply for the C gem. Now, it was in a, it wasn't the original. I went and I purchased an, a different one, and this is rated 12 volts, 5 amp, and that takes, the CGX takes 12 volts, uh, 4 amp, so I will be able to reuse this power brick, and I won't need to get another one, unless I get this one repaired, like I said, there's a lot of backlash, and uh, so, and the polar or the meridian flip issues so um, if I get this repaired I'll end up getting a second uh, power supply so I can run this one without any issues so let me finish up here Okay, so what you just saw me do there was, uh, you know, I lined up behind it, looked at where my polar alignment was before, and it looks like I'm a little bit to the east. So if I stand behind it and look straight up, I've got a tree that I should be right to the east of. I'm a little bit far, so I'll just pop it over just a touch. That looks pretty good. There's plenty of adjustment in the uh, azimuth and elevation. I got roughly what that one was, right around 38, 39. So polar alignment should be pretty, pretty quick. This evening, assuming these high wispy clouds are out of the way. So, and then the other thing I needed to make sure was that I am level. Luckily, when they built this pad, it was pretty level. I didn't have any problems with the C jam mount. And as I can see here, my bubble is right in the middle of the center. So 
that is good. So we are still nice and level. I don't have to worry about that. So now I just need to get everything back and mount it on here. Okay, and yes, I realize I'm going to need to put the dew shield on, get all my cables tied up, and do all of that good stuff before I do a final uh, balance. But I just wanted to get it close for now and not worry about it so much later. So let me finish up. Let me get the rest of these cables and everything uh, fine-tuned. And let me make sure I'm still, yeah, I'm pretty close. So, all right, let me finish these up. I want to need some more cable ties and uh, yeah. All right, well, I think that's gonna be good enough to at least give me a polar line tonight and hopefully maybe some imaging if everything goes good. Uh, I'm a little worried about these cables right here. Um, when it's slewing across, so I might have to, you know, when, the, when it does the star alignment, uh, and the star sense does its thing. Uh, I'll be watching these cables, seeing how they go because it does go through uh, a pretty wide range on the four star alignment. And uh, so I'll keep an eye out on those and see if I can tighten those up a little bit. And then, uh, you know, obviously watch these over here for my. Uh, auto guider and the star sense cables themselves everything else i think is going to be good for tonight and hopefully tomorrow and then uh, i will come back and tighten everything up in, in a better way after i get a night or two and know how everything's going to work with the new mounts as far as the cabling and everything uh, but yeah that should be it for uh, this episode, I'm going to now
got the pole master I pulled off, so I got to mount that. That'll be the next episode or two. Um, and so, yeah, as you saw, it wasn't that heavy. I mean, it's it's probably 70 pounds or so. Uh, maybe you know, maybe 60 on the low end uh, to move the mount around. So it was not that difficult to, to carry. So I was a little worried when the boxes came. One box was 58 pounds, the other one was 55 pounds. So I was thinking it was gonna be over 100 pounds and we're trying to move that around. Uh, wasn't gonna to be too, too great. So uh, I was contemplating, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a grade and everything. Uh, I was contemplating getting one of those carts. Uh, I can't remember uh, who, who makes them now. I'll have to go back through the comments and uh, look at the suggestions, but uh, so that I could wheel it in and out of the garage easier. Uh, but as it stands now, if I can get where I want my cables to be, and I'll probably use Velcro uh, straps instead of these zip ties. These zip ties are temporary right now. Um, and yeah, so I'll probably use the Velcro uh, because some of what I need to do, I need to pull off the bottom to keep it with the OTA. And then it's just the, the OTA and the uh, counterweights. And then everything else can be taken in in one shot. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to put a little bit of a tarp over it to protect it until sundown and then uh, we'll see how she goes after I get the pole master on there. So with that, I want to say thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, clear skies and have a good one. Thank you for watching yet another video from the Astromage Engineering channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video we've uploaded. In our lower right, we have what YouTube might think you would enjoy. And in the lower left is our subscription button. Please like this video, subscribe if you so choose. As always, clear skies, have a good one, and remember Duke.